I've been very clear on the show. I've been clear on every show and every note. We use the 210 spread. I thought Rick's comment was very interesting about the technical factors on some of the inversions that are happening. The 210 spread is a positive 11 basis points. And I'm not going to say that that's a, that's a, a, a great thing, Scott, but let's, let's say the Armageddon happens and you invert the 210 curve. Your median gain over the course for the S&P over the course of the last three cycles has been about 34 percent with recession not happening for two years. So even over the last, and I would challenge Steve a little bit where he said the yield curves predicted the last, you know, 50 percent of the recessions. It's 100 percent where the inver inversion of the 210 spread has predicted a recession over the course of the last 70 years and seven economic cycles. The problem is you get extraordinary volatility like we're seeing around when you're kind of inverting the curve. But it's a buy signal. It, it has not led to the peak other than in 1973 when the market peaked two months prior to it. Yep. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Um, I made the distinction at the outset uh, that this is not a traditional <coughs> inversion. Uh, you know, we're yep. talking three months versus 10 year today. I, I get it. But did the Fed screw up? Did the oh, Fed totally. already did the Fed totally. already make the mistake? They totally made the mistake. They do every cycle. This is the thing that drives me crazy. We think it's going to be different every cycle. The Fed works on data that lags. They are going to drive us into a recession every single cycle. I've been a permable for the last 10 years because the yield curve has not been inverted and credit has been on fire. When the yield curve inverts, that changes, but it works with a significant lead. And I think that's the most important thing. Yesterday, the market's up a percent and everybody's going crazy because it's so good. Today, it's down a percent and a half and at the low of the day and everything's horrible. And I think it's probably somewhere in the middle, Scott, where, you know, the home builders are up today generally or flat in a terrible tape because it is what creates that lead time is it's stimulative to economic activity so, uh, because you're having a significant drop in market rates.